Good morning. Welcome back. It is 746 on your St. Patrick's Day and this St. Patrick's Day morning. We are joined by author and Irish storyteller David McDonnell. Later today, David travels to the Senior Center in Traverse City, sharing his knowledge of Irish tradition and heritage. But right now he's live in our Fox 32 studio with Jenny and Charles. Good morning. Hey, good morning, David. Good morning, Courtney. Yeah, who doesn't love to start off their day with a good story? And this is the master of the North, specifically when it comes to Irish storytelling. This is David McDonald. Good morning, David. Good morning. David, for, first off, can you tell me your storytelling? Are, are these real stories? Are they being passed down? Where, where oh, are you getting them there from? There are some of them that are passed on. I'm a Shanachie, in the words of the Irish, and the Shanachie oh. is an old practice of uh, gathering stories, learning about people, stealing stories from others, but adding your own twist. Uh -huh. A lot of my stories are old Irish legends that I've uh, somewhat updated. Yeah. Some are just yarns and some are just historical facts. They're just mm. sometimes uh, truth is stranger than fiction. Okay, well then on that note, I'm going to let you do what you do best and hand you over the microphone. All right. Here we go, guys. Enjoy. Well, I thought I'd tell a story to our dancers, and it's a story about a story. And there was an elderly woman who lived in the west of Ireland, and she long since spent her last shilling and had her last morsel of food. And she was very hungry and very weak. But she got up enough strength to go into the nearest village. And she went to the first home she saw in the village and knocked on the door. And someone answered the door and she says, please, could you spare some food for an old woman who hasn't eaten in days? And the person said, no, and slammed the door on her. Then she went to the next house and the next house. And the same answer wherever she went. So she wandered over to the street and she just sat down right in the middle of the street and wondered, whatever am I going to do? I haven't eaten in days. And then she heard a noise in the distance. And she looked over and it was a man on horseback. And he was riding a huge white stallion. And the man was very tall in the saddle. And he had a huge cape. And as the man came into town, everyone flung open their windows and swung open their doors. And they came rushing out to meet him. And they were carrying kettles of food and freshly baked bread and jugs full of wine. Everyone offering these to the man who just rode into town. And when the people left, the old woman had enough courage and strength to come up to the man on horseback and she kind of tugged at his trousers. And she said, are you a king? He said, no. She says, what is your name? He says, my name is Story. She says, why do they offer you food and wine, freshly baked bread? The same people who denied the same thing to me just moments ago. He looked down at her and he said, well, Everyone loves a good story. And the man then looked down at the elderly woman and said, what is your name? And she looked up at him and said, my name is Truth. And he looked down and he says, well, there's your problem. Nobody wants to hear the truth. He says, but I have an idea. Why don't you come with me? This horse is big enough for the both of us, and you can hide behind my cape. And he lifted her up and put her behind him in the horse, covered her up with the, cake, the cape, and said, we shall travel the world, and wherever we go, people will feed us and offer us wine, and we will live fine from now on. And that's what they did. They traveled the world, telling their stories. And that is why, in every story, there is a little bit of truth. Thank you. David? Guys, we're, we're going to hear from David again in about an hour, but you can pick up his first book, three-time award-winning collection of stories available right now on Amazon, but he also has his new book to be released later this year. We'll tell you more in about 60 minutes. See you then. Sounds great. Thanks, Jenny. Right now at 7.51 on Michigan This Morning.